Good afternoon, ladies and gents. It's Money Bags me Pink. We're gonna come do, uh, oh, before we get into it, I'm a little rusty, I'm a little rusty. I took a couple weeks off. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit me up, Money Bags, you know how it is. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna do a Bluefish Essentials. They've been coming in. Uh, I live on the sound side, so we've been uh, we've been seeing some decent sized ones. My buddy got like over 12 pounder the other day, so that on a 4K setup is uh, is screaming and just a lot of fun. You know what I mean? They're super aggressive, considerably bigger and fighting harder than the schoolies that we're catching right now on average. So, as far as like a couple of picks for me. I, uh, I love these Tsunami Talking Poppers. It's the XD version. Uh, these blues will be thrashing. They're hitting hard. So these got VMC hooks. Another thing that makes it for me, I love the white bucktail on a single hook on the back. So I've got this hooked up um, with the belly hook completely taken off. And I just run the one single in the back. Uh, I've had no problems with hiccup ratios. If I lose a blue, I'm not crying about it. You're still getting the top wire blowups on them. You know what I mean? And uh, I love it. And just dealing with the single hook, I can just grab it by my pliers, shake them off, put them back in the water, or fillet them up for jam so we can get some uh, bluefish. Boom! That's the real look. That's the real look. I, I think that you can kind of see across the board. I like the white and pearls. Most everything is white on the bottom. Uh, this is the Ocean Born. You know, a great another top water option for these blues. Uh, really nice hooks and split rings on these guys. I would probably crimp the barbs down on anything you're gonna keep the trebles on. Just because these things are walking onto your lure anyway. They're not letting go. Uh, so the chances of you losing a fish because the barbs are crimped are slim to none. Um, and the plugs being a little bit longer, it's kind of working as a bite guard for you. So I like the floating just because you can twitch, twitch and pause it for a really long time. Um, the weight is suitable for most any surf rod. This isn't too, too, too heavy for us. Um, they cast like an absolute rocket. So these are my two top water primaries. Uh, honorable mention always, Cotton Cortel. You know what I mean? I just got to keep it real. You know, you've seen me on the beach, it's probably going to be cotton. So, uh, another bringing the Hopkins spoon down for Matt in his absence. Uh, I like the two ounce one, white single hook, bucktail on the back. I like the two ounce, not because, well, because the casting distance is obviously great. You know, this, depending on the size of the fish, um, distance, and the bait around, I change between these. I will say that the two ounces is considerably longer, and it works as a nice little bite guard for you. Having the single hook on these, if you are choosing them, is absolutely critical too. Again, you're not going to sacrifice any hookups, and it's going to be a heck of a lot easier for you to get the hook out. If you do get a schoolie in too, um, it's definitely better for the release rate of the schoolies. Um, I love bucktails. SP minnows and bucktails are probably my two favorite lures on the face of the planet. Uh, they catch everything. White bucktail is the best lure on the face of the planet for me. Um, we got the white one ounce and we got the sand eel green one and a half. I feel like these are a good, um, good mix of casting distance, covering the water column, and white. I mean, look at Look at Instagram, a lot of the gator blues being caught from Jersey all the way up to the Cape. You're gonna see white bucktails in their mouths. So that is not a fluke. You know, it is physically impossible for me to make it a video without saying something about SP minnows. Uh, I have this color. I found it at Morris Island like 10 years ago. It was completely beat up then. It is completely beat up now. I don't really fish it anymore because I swear it's good luck and I just leave it in my tray to spread the good luck to all my other lures. But it is a mother pearl color. Mine is basically clear and a little bit of silver left on it, but I cannot recommend these for bluefish and stripers enough. Um, for whatever reason, this like wonder bread, mother pearl color uh, works so good for bluefish and stripers for me. I, uh, I really highly recommend it, especially for the blues. You know, if you start running the bucktails, you can't have these things bite you off. Everybody knows. You know, a little 12 inch steel leaders, a 30 pound test. As long as they're not fraying it, generally they're not gonna like break you off. Um, as long as you run appropriate drag. So these are nice for saving your $20 plugs. Not that I would really pull out the outcast for when there's gated blues around, you know? That's why you got, you know, these Hopkins spoons, it's 10 bucks. They work phenomenally well. And you can have a lot more fun fishing a lure with single hooks for these blues, because you're not spending 10 minutes on hooking them. You're not spending uh, 10 minutes on hooking yourself. 
which is really nice. Uh, and it just keeps it simple, you know, these things cast like an absolute mile. They've been around since the dawn of time and they're pretty affordable. So again, get out in the surf, enjoy all these blues. They're roaming the flats. You know, a lot of them are super aggressive, gonna be hitting top waters. Uh, they're not as leader shy as some of these little schooly striped bass or maybe like our beginning rolling of uh, keeper size fish we're having hit the cape. These things are an absolute blast. They're probably the best battle you're going to get off the beach um, in the next couple weeks here. So get out there, enjoy them. Hit the Soundside beaches. Uh, I like incoming or high tides for these guys. But also, if you're fishing like a mouth, out, you know, the first two hours of outgoing, all these, the bait that's flushing out of these marshes and back estuaries, uh, we'll get these blues on the bite. And uh, hopefully they're on your line. Have a great day, you guys. Tight lines. Peace.